Um, well, as you just heard from the mayor, and you know what he does, um, Newcastle's government is called a mayor and council system. So we have a president of city council plus four members of council, and they serve four year terms, which are staggered to two year, so that everybody doesn't come up for election at the same time. Um, we do have an election coming up in April on the 15th, at which there'll be two four year terms for city council to decide and since unfortunately one of our members had to resign due to ill health, the remaining two years of his term will, are, are the third seat that's um, available. Um, we have eight people running for those three positions. Um, just so you know, the elections are on the 15th, which is a Saturday, April 15th, a Saturday. April 10th is the last day to register to vote and you do that through the state of Delaware Board of Elections. And <clears throat> pardon me, April 14th at noon, <coughs> is the last day to request an absentee ballot. And you do that at the city office. Um, the work of the council is to set the budget. As you heard from the mayor, it's roughly $6 million a year. Um, our income comes from taxes, property taxes and fees such as transfer tax and building um, permit fees and so forth. We also get significant state grants, especially for street repair and construction. Um, another other functions of the council include appointing people to the boards of commission that boards and commissions as mentioned by the mayor the mayor appoints some the council appoints some um, so that's another one of our jobs um, we also approve or deny zoning re requests for zoning changes and then we get into relatively smaller things like should there be a stop sign here or we spent a year debating whether or not the traffic light should be changed to a stop sign. <laughs> um, we also have to approve any requests for handicapped parking spaces. So it's a, a wide range of things. Um, if you're interested in finding out more about city government, you can get information on the city's webpage, which is newcastlecityaltogether.delaware.gov or just Google Newcastle City, just be careful to get city, not county. There's a lot of confusion about that. Um, there you can find information about meeting dates, um, agendas for the coming meetings, uh, copies of proposed resolutions and ordinances under consideration by the council, um, information on the various boards and commissions, their meetings, their minutes and minutes of the council meetings. Um, there's things like Battery Park use forms, emergency contacts and information about disaster preparedness. So that may be helpful if you want to make sure you've got things in line in case there's a, a big problem. Um, there's also information published regularly in our local newspaper, The Weekly. And there's a Facebook page and blog called Newcastle City Topics. For those of you who don't get your news from the printed media anymore, <laughs> um, you can find meeting dates and agendas there as well. If you're interested in getting involved with city government, which we always encourage, the best way to start is attending meetings. Pick a topic that you're interested in, be it the Tree Commission or the Planning Commission or the Historic Area Commission, and go to the meetings just to see what's going on. If you're interested, let a council person or the council president or the mayor know that you're interested in one of the commissions. So next time there's a vacancy, you can be considered. Um, volunteer with one of the many organizations you'll hear from tonight. It's a good way to find out what's going on in town and meet lots of people. And just participating in this series. So thank you all very much.